Come take my journey into night. Come be my shadow. Walk at my side. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make subtitles for videos or songs like the one you just saw, and we'll do that using Blender. So to get started, we can download this uh, add-on that I made called Subs Import. You just come to my GitHub page, you click on Clone or Download, and then Download Zip. I'll put it out to my desktop, and then I will start up Blender and we'll install it. So I'll go to File, User Preferences, Install from File, and it's out on my desktop, so I'll click that, and then I'll check this box, and then Save User Settings. So now, when I go to the video sequence editor, on the right hand side, I should see a little area called subs import, and this is a handy little tool for importing subtitles. You just uh, set the font size for the subtitles that you want, and then you import it. But we need some uh, text to import first, so let's minimize uh, Blender, and we'll go and get some text. So I'm here I'm using the song I Move On, it's from the Sintel movie and I'll just copy all of the text for the song. Copy and then I'll open up a text editor and paste it. And each of these lines is going to be a new text strip once we import it. So I'm going to get rid of the spaces. And uh, another thing too, when you're making subtitles, it's not good to have too much text uh, in a single subtitle. So you want to limit the, the amount of text you, you are going to use, and usually you don't want any more than like two lines. And so the way the importer works is it'll automatically split lines that are longer than 36 characters long. So you don't want any line here in this text file to be any longer than 72 characters. And uh, that's why I like using Genie to edit text files because Genie has this cool green line over here that is uh, set to 72 characters. And so it will tell me how far I am, uh, how close I am to that 72 character limit. So there's our text. I'm going to press Control say, or S to save. And I'll just call it, I don't know, lyrics.txt. And let's go back into Blender. So inside Blender, I will go and I will click this import subtitle. And there's three kind of file types that it will recognize, the .lrc, .srt, and .txt. Now .srt and .lrc are both going to already be synced up to the music, but the txt isn't. It just comes in as one second increments uh, and because there's really no time associated with each line of text. So that's how that works. But uh, to align this text to the song, I'm going to need to import the song. So I'll just drag that in. And I like to be able to see the uh, waveform uh, to the song. So I'm going to find this button that says Draw Waveform. Click that checkbox. And I'm going to take all of the text for the song. I'll highlight it and I'll drag it all the way over to the right. Okay. So what Subs Import does is it, it creates three new keyboard shortcuts that you can use for aligning the subtitle to the song, S, D, and F. And I'll show you what each of those does. Uh, probably the best thing to do is just kind of show you. So let's play our song. I'll turn up the volume here. All right, so she started singing already. So let's uh, zoom back. And it sounds like she starts right there, let's see. Yep, okay, so when, when the green line gets to that point, I'm gonna press the D key or the S key. It doesn't matter and you'll see why. So D. In tonight. So there I push the S key. Um, so the, the D key sets the start of a strip. The F key sets the end of a strip. And the S key pushes both the D and F keys at the same time. So that kind of syncs them both up together. So that's how that works. Um, let's see, I need to fix this now. So... And that's really how it works. You just use the D, the S, D, and F keys to line it up. So let's see. And that's how you do it. It works best if you know the song, uh, but 
You just kind of uh, play along and listen and push the keys at the right time. Now when you're done, once you have all of the text lined up, uh, you want to highlight one of the text strips and then you want to uh, come up here to where it says export subtitles and then I just export the subtitles. Uh, so I'll just Sintel's song.srt and export that. So now if I delete this, you just you can see how it all looks here. If I were to delete it and then go back and do import subtitle and find song.srt it'll import all that text again and this time it is synced up with the song at least in the parts where I just did it. So that is how subs import works and I hope you find this helpful. Uh, I certainly find it very useful. Uh, have a good day.